My husband killed me! <laughs> we have to give him some space. <laughs> Come this way. <laughs> Got a few questions for you guys. <laughs> Thank you for identifying her. Mom. Dad. I'm right here. This can't be happening. No! Blair! I should have saved you from standing too close to the edge. You were the love of my life. You became our son five years ago when you married our daughter. Hey, Jack, you will always be part of this family. No. No, Jack Marshall killed me. My husband killed me. <laughs> we have to give him some space. Come this way. Got a few questions for you guys. <laughs> Blair Rose, you dumb For five years, you were the perfect wife. And this is all you got. Everything you had is mine now. How could you? Sorry, B. It's not my fault. You were stupid enough to choose me. Goodbye now. No. <laughs> Please, give me another chance. Please give me another chance and start all over. Oh my God, are you okay? I'm alive. I'm alive again. This was five years ago. It's time for revenge. Oh my god, are you okay? What just happened? Oh my god, you hit your head, didn't you? It looks like it. Are you kidding me? We got T-boned by Nathan Forbes? I'm alive. All right. I'm alive again. Look, I remember this day. We were hit by Nathan Forbes and he bought us a car and... And then I saw wedding venues with Abby. This was five years ago. Holy crap. I still have time. I can... I can redo this. Just because you're filthy rich doesn't mean that you can just drive recklessly. We could have died. Don't be so dramatic, okay? There's hardly a scratch. See? Still gorgeous. Whatever. I don't care. You better pay for that. Who says I won't? I'll buy you a brand new car, all right? Or two. Maybe one for the beautiful Blair? Yeah, fine. Just stop flirting and go. No, it's not enough. And what could possibly make you forgive me, Miss Rose? Nathan Forbes, will you marry me? Nathan Forbes, will you marry me? What? Blair, are you out of your goddamn mind? You probably did hit your head. We gotta get you checked out ASAP. Hey, I thought you were uh, marrying Jack Marshall. Yeah, in a month. I don't know what's gotten into her. Look, okay, I changed my mind. I'll ask again, Nathan, will you marry me? I'm flattered, but I clearly remember you calling me a man whore who belongs to the streets. That was college. And now he's worse. Blair, honestly, what the f Let's go. Wait, Abby, can you just wait for me in the car? Fine, but holler if you need me, okay? Run along now. So, you've been dating Jack Marshall since middle school. What has it been, like a decade? A decade, exactly, yeah. So what's changed? Look, he's not a good person, Nathan. I didn't see that before, but I see it now. And what makes you think that I'm a good person, Blair? I don't. I think you're a compulsive cheater with commitment issues and no sense of responsibility. Whom you just asked to marry you. But you are the biggest pain in Jack's ass. And you guys have been 
enemies since forever. Yeah, he's had a grudge on me since I won student body president over him in high school, but I don't get it. What is this, revenge? What did he do to you? I thought you'd be more interested in what you could get out of all of this. <laughs> I never knew you were so calculative. I wasn't before, and it cost me. Listen, I can help you get to where you want to be. I mean, just imagine me by your side instead of Jack's. It all sounds very rosy, Miss Rose, but I don't trust you yet. Maybe I would think that you actually want to marry me and that you like me as a person if you, if you gave me a little kiss. I've never kissed anyone before besides Jack. Clock's ticking. <laughs> Fine. It's just a stupid kiss on the cheek. Oh my god! <gasps> <laughs> All right, look, look, maybe, uh, maybe Abby was right. Maybe you have a concussion here for your medical costs and whatever car you decide to buy to replace this thing. All right, that's my cue. I'll leave. I'll be in touch. I'm sorry I hit you guys, and I'm glad you're alive. You f boy, get away from my innocent player. I can't believe you did that to you. Who knows what kind of disease huh? I'm okay. And you're okay, and everything is going to be okay this time. Okay. You definitely hit your head. Do you think the car will still drive? I need to go home and tell my parents that I'm marrying someone else. <laughs>